I'm flying down those hills, I don't think about anything else in that moment. I'm literally there with my bike. It's just fantastic. You're alive and you realise what you've got to live for. I'm Megan, I'm a paracyclist for the Great Britain Cycling Team and a stroke survivor. God, this story, I suppose, starts as I walk into hospital. Megan the First was on a journey, and in January 2013, I had a stroke. Subacnoid brain hemorrhage, to be specific. It wasn't expected, but I had it, and there was nothing I could do about that. I had to deal with it. I lost my right side, I suffered with drop foot, I had epilepsy, I had neurological issues with regards to balance and coordination, I had swallowing issues. It's, it's a big thing, but to me it wasn't. I don't think it had sunk in actually how severe this could be. Straight after the stroke, all of a sudden I've got to grieve for myself, I've got to work out what I want in life again, how am I going to get to that place, that happy place. Megan the second was lost. I needed to have a hobby or something that gave me purpose in life. I've never been one to be happy with just being and just settling. I needed a splint, an AFO, to support my leg for cycling because my knee knocks on the frame and my ankle rolls over so I couldn't put any power through the pedal. In May 2014 I got accepted onto the development programme. The aim was to race in Rio, which I managed to achieve, but that was in September 2016 so it was a really quick turnaround from being a non-cyclist to winning gold. and getting two world records. Without that splint, I don't think I'd be able to cycle half as well as I have because it's given me the stability, the confidence to ride at a higher level. It's become my whole life. I eat, breathe, sleep, dream about cycling. It's everything to me. And it's the one thing that's really pushed me through the hard times. You know, every race I do, I dedicate to someone. Someone that suffered at the hands of stroke. That way it gives me that little extra push. You know, just as I'm told that I inspire them, they inspire me. I live by a saying, I'm not what happened to me and what I choose to become. I have chosen to become this person that I am now and I don't look back. I've made the best of a bad situation. And from it, all the good I'm doing and helping other people, that's what makes me happy. Yes, I get a gold medal, that's fantastic. But it's all the other people that I help along the way and encourage and motivate and inspire.